So happy new year and welcome to the first sumo meeting on 2013, I think. Yeah. Um, so we have a bit of a change of format. Um, from now on, it will be either me or Rosanna leading these meetings. So if we have, if you guys have any questions or concerns or anything, please let let us know. We'll be glad to help. Um, so uh, let me just paste the either pad for everybody to see on Sumo. That's it. So let's get started. We can start with the previous action items, and I see that Kadir had one. So Kadir, you have the floor. Right. So just to remind everyone what this was about, um, earlier or, or late last year, we lost the ability to track uh, HTTPS uh, requests, uh, which actually changed the way um, we recorded data for our CTR, uh, which is a KPI. So, so many abbreviations, sorry. <laughs> um, so essentially the, uh, the, the search KPI is uh, broken and uh, we need a time to actually backfill that. So uh, the thing is, it happened over the uh, holidays, and this is my first day today. So I will have an update on this next week uh, when I already when I also got the chance to update the data. Cool. That's but, all I can say. But what now. you're saying is the data on the graph is now correct. So the data on the graph is wrong. It's been wrong since uh, uh, October. Uh, and that was, uh, we caught that late last year, but uh, the metrics team needed the time over the holidays to backfill um, the correct data on their servers uh, over the holidays. But that is not enough. We also need to run our scripts to create uh, the, the metrics that we need from that data. Oh. So now the data is there, and now we need to create our metrics. And that's what I'm doing, and I will do that this week. Gotcha. All right, any questions for Kadir? Yes, no, we want to do. Okay, we can also develop development update, Ricky. Sweet. I think uh, Kadir filled most of the stuff, but I can give a preview and then. Hey, Ricky, you're a little bit okay. quiet. I realize now why yep. I couldn't hear your Spanish. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, can you hear me better? Much yeah. better. Okay, so uh, well, our last brand was a little bit longer than usual because of the holidays and stuff. And we worked on multiple products support. So now on the KB forums and localized localization forums, you can filter by, by Firefox or Firefox for mobile. Um, and as new products come in, you can, uh, you can filter by the rest. And then, um, we're about to land, uh, the segregation for the, for the questions for support forums and uh that should land today and we yeah. did more mobile design stuff i don't remember if it was the last sprint where it went live or not but uh either way we've been fixing issues uh then we've been working on l10 tools and a bunch of other bugs um and i don't know Kadir, you want to say anything else yeah so um one thing we did last late last year was the rollout of the mobile uh, redesign um so the next sprint is starting tomorrow and if you have seen anything that needs attention that should be fixed uh, soon, please bring that uh, to, to my attention or to Ricky's attention. Uh, I haven't read up on all the bug mails yet. Uh, so if you want something to be included in the next sprint, bring this up very soon. Yeah, Matt. There we go. Uh, real quick, when does uh, when do topic fastest land? Is that in this sprint? Uh, so we have, product, facets. we have product facets right now. So when do when do we the topic facets land for search? Oh, you, you mean on the search results page? Yeah. Uh, I think it was in the last sprint actually, but I would have to check that. I uh, don't actually. I don't see it. it. Yeah, I see products, but not topics. True. Yeah, we have. Uh, let me get back to you after this meeting because I'm not sure. Ricky, uh, were you saying something? We haven't done topics yet, so yeah. Okay, next sprint. <laughs> okay. Anything else on this topic? 
Uh, yeah, well, we can also talk about the next sprint that is happening. Um, so, so three big things, or you do you want to do that, Ricky? I don't mind. Right, anyway, uh, three big things. One of them is the localized support forums coming uh, this this uh, sprint. The second one is that we are uh, doing uh, some of the remaining uh, mobile redesign uh, features. And uh, a big one is the move away from web trends to Google Analytics that is happening uh, in the sprint also. Uh, besides that, we still have our 25% time projects. A number of them are listed here. Uh, and as always, if you have something that uh, is, is an emergency or you really need to uh, have that happen in the next sprint, please bring that up very soon. So the localized support forms are happening, yay. Mm -hmm. Okay, great stuff. Um, UX? Uh, yeah, so Bram isn't here, so I'm also taking that. Um, so Bram, I think, was also on holiday. Uh, nothing to report for, for the last week, as far as I can tell. But uh, for the next sprint, he will be working on the mobile uh, Get Involved pages. Um, and uh, we are working on fixing um, some of the uh, landing pages um, to show less white space on top, to show more content um, on top. Yeah, that is it for now. Excellent. All right, then if there aren't any questions about this, let's move on to round table. Uh, I see there are a few items there. I'm not sure who put them there. Um, so before you move yeah. on, Madalena, uh, yeah. for the localized support forum, so what languages are we starting with? Anything in particular, or we're just putting in the foundation pieces that we need? Is that what we're doing? Yeah, so this is the infrastructure. Um, okay, essentially, it's up to us which languages we activate. It will be very easy to activate or deactivate languages as we need them. Okay. So just to clarify, for languages where we already have um, coverage, where um, in locales where we already have communities working um, on answering on their own forums, um, those aren't the focus. We're looking at oh, yeah. the languages where we have no coverage. Yeah, this is very important. Thank you for bringing this up. Um, so these forums are completely opt-in. Um, and uh, we, we also need to work with the community before we actually launch yeah. them, uh, that there are people who answer questions as they come in. We don't want to create forums, uh, essentially ghost forums, where people ask questions but no one is answering them. We, also we don't, don't want, want to, to duplicate. Establish yeah, we yeah. don't want to duplicate where exactly. we already have. We That's don't want not... to work against established communities, so yeah. this will be totally up then for communities to decide that they would rather have something hosted by us, uh, where we already had a number of requests uh, from smaller communities who don't want to go th uh, through the trouble of setting up forums on their own local community websites. But for them, this will be a resource that they can use. Uh, for established communities who already have, have uh, forums, and this is totally opt-in. If, if they want to, they can. They are free to use our forums. We will be happy to host them. Uh, but essentially, if they don't want to use them, nothing is changing for them. We will link to their local forums as we did before. Okay. You're voiping a little bit, but but I think people can probably hear what you say. But 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 to summarize. Opt in for, for established communities. We will absolutely not duplicate any forums. Uh, if you have a you know a forum that is healthy and live and active, you know that's where we will we will point our users to. If and even if you don't have a community today and you want to, there are some steps that need to be taken in order to to um, launch a forum. First of all, I'm assuming that we we you need to translate some strings in order to to mm -hmm. make the, sure that the UI looks localized. But then also, we want to make sure that there are people who are committed to helping, because we don't want to create what Kadir described as ghost forums, where uh, you know we open up, for example, a Slovenian forum, and no one is showing up to answer questions. So um, so it's, I, I'm assuming that it sounds like there's kind of a process in order to, to get a forum launched in our system. We, we want to go through a number of uh, kind of a steps before we make it happen. Is that something that is being worked on? The, the kind of the exact procedure? 
Yeah, so uh, I've been talking to Rosanna before uh, we, before the holidays about this, and we will clarify the process uh, hopefully this week. Um, and we will have the feature ready uh, by the end of this month. So by the end of the second sprint, rather, sorry, the end of the second sprint. So and by then we will also have a number of uh, um, steps that you would have to go through before we open up the forum for the local. So one, yeah. one thing I just want to add is is it's pretty. I'm I'm watching my mouth now because I don't want to say the wrong words because we're uh, this is recorded. But but it's pretty amazing that we're getting this thing because I know that we've been we've been talking about this for. Is it two years or something like that? So so just having this ready in the next couple of weeks is just amazing. <laughs> And, and and related to that, I think it's just amazing just how much we accomplished last year. So Ricky, uh, you, you know, you and your team, I want to make sure that you get the recognition you deserve. I think it was absolutely amazing the stuff that we accomplished. Uh, and so this is just this is to me indication that is continuing, and that's that's really really awesome. Yeah, absolutely. I can only echo that. Yes. Yeah, I'm looking at this mo uh, multiple product support. Like, hey, so we can have um, the knowledge base and dashboards all split up by the products now. That's killer. That, that's that's so awesome for people who want to focus on. Um, I mean, for me, for focus on mobile. This is awesome stuff. I, I mean, it looks great. <clears throat> Yeah, what the hell? I'll say it. It's fantastic. It's fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, if you, any locale who's interested in in, in being the guinea pig, uh, <laughs> can step in. And uh, I'm sure that Madalena uh, has a lot of uh, very valuable tips. Yeah, any any anything forum related, please let me know. I'd yeah. be happy to help. Okay. Um so we can move on to round table now. Uh the first item is the body program. So Rosanna, I wanna talk about the body program. Um I uh, there. I don't know, are you in the call? Uh, Okay. Okay. I maybe we can uh, up now. So while a lot of people were on the break. Hey, uh, sorry, Rosanna, it's, it's a bit hard to hear what you're saying. I'm not sure if, if people can, if you could mute yourself if you're not talking, because I'm picking up some echo. But it's also you cutting in and out, uh, Rosanna. So I'm not sure if it's could be on oh. your end too. Is it my end? I don't know. I don't know, but but if everyone else could could mute, uh, I think that will increase the odds of us hearing you. Okay. Is it better now? I hope it's better. I hear the echo. So, what, guys, what you want to do is to you, you want to click the the icon in the toolbar of the video thing, because that's that that effectively cuts the bandwidth too. So it's unlike if you have a like if like me if you have a headset with a mute button, that's that doesn't do it. Okay, is it better now? Uh, okay, okay, I go. Um, so just just a quick update on what we what happened. Uh, we had a, a, a meeting with uh, a lot of people from the community that were interested in the body program. Uh, we have our Etherpad. Uh, if you want to check out uh, what has been going on there, we had a lot of very interesting feedback. Um, it seems to be that uh, um, in the community there's a lot of energy and uh, we have a couple of also new contributors who came in with a lot of very good ideas. Um, so it was very interesting and, and it was a great thing to do. The, the meeting was a little bit hard because we had some connection problems on video, uh, but we carried, out, uh, we carried on, on IRC and um, it's very good. Um, I don't want to go too much into detail. If you're interested into, you know, what the body program is going to look like, you can check the Etherpad, which is linked from here. Thank you, um, um, Sata, for linking. Uh, but basically, you know, we're trying to figure out what parts um, the body program should cover. You know, what what should be part of it. Uh, you know, teaching the tools, um, pairing contributors with bodies, and figuring out how we're going to um, structure the program. And um, I think that it has been great to get the feedback from the community. 
um, because uh, that's going to make sure that we're on the right track. They know how it is to get started on Sumo, and some of them had good experiences. Some of them said that uh, a little bit of help would be good, so um, it's really good. What, what's going to happen next is that we're going to uh, cluster it a little bit, give it more structure, um, and then uh, we're going to move on with that, and we hope that uh, soon we're going to have something that's more um, structured. So if you have any questions or if you're interested, you can always uh, you can always go to uh, to the Etherpad and put there your uh, put your uh, uh, feedback and input there, uh, and we will carry on the conversations in the forums uh, so that we make sure that everyone can uh, take part of it, and we will probably also do some um, IRC meeting. Uh, okay. Um, okay. So yeah, that was regarding the uh, body program. I don't know if have, anyone has any questions or. Yeah, you guys, if you have, if you want to find out more details, you can just check the Etherpad there. We have put like most of the information, actually all the information there. Um, this will be a big thing and I'm very happy that we're starting to do it um, this, I mean, starting this year. Um, because it won't be, it will be something that will later can uh, be applied to all the SUMO components and then we'll start with localization, of course, but then we can apply it to everything. Um, so we're very, very, very excited about it and I'm looking forward to see the results. Um, we have two more items on the round table. The first oh, I was going to say, um... This is awesome. There's already a list of people interested in the buddy program. Do we have a list of the um, the 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 experienced buddies, to, um, or a place where people can sign up to um, who are already on Sumo? Uh, yeah. Well, actually, the the people who are in uh, the people listed here are active Sumo contributors that okay. want to step in. They want to step in as buddies. Um, oh, and nice. we, yeah, so the thing is that we make a call. We, we didn't want to come up with, you know, a ready program and then just uh, put it out there. But we wanted to get all their experiences and their ideas. And they're actually, uh, they're actively shaping the program with us. And that's the, you know, the nice thing, I think. Um, so they're helping us to set up the program. They're giving us feedback ideas. And then they're going to be the first buddies as well. Oh, awesome. Yeah, so these are the buddies. Uh, Sweet. Yeah, it's a joint effort, basically. It's you know, let's do this together and see what comes of it. I think this is great, you know, because contributing to like the forums and the knowledge basis is um, difficult and complicated and so helpful. I think as Beto has said many times to have someone show you the way. So this is a great. Mm -hmm. yep. uh, okay, any more questions about the body program? Take one, take two, right. Okay. Um, moving further, again, the first mobile meeting of the year will be on January 9th. Is that correct, Michelle? Okay, what time is it? Oh, it's at a terrible time for Europe. It's at 3 p.m. Um, <laughs> Pacific. But like this meeting, we record it. Um, it's Brahms' fault because he's in New Zealand. No, I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> yeah, 3 so p.m. Pacific. midnight European time. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Ghost only for time. night owl Europeans. <laughs> All right. Well, it's great that it's going to be recorded, so we can watch it afterwards. Yep. Um, okay. Next item. Happy birthday to Tyler. Happy birthday, Tyler. Happy birthday. Danny, thank you, one. <laughs> okay. Um, and just for clarification, Christmas. it's on Wednesday. It's on Wednesday. <laughs> but still, oh, yeah, this it's, it's the birth week this week. So <laughs> All the, I, I don't even know what that means, but <laughs> I'll stop now. <laughs> it means it's a great time for partying and for Tyler. So well done, Tyler, for making it to 21. It's tough. <laughs> Okay, let's move on to Firefox desktop. All right, so uh, first off, just want to thank everybody for the amazing year that we had uh, last year. Got tons of stuff done, and we can't thank, uh, thank you enough. So thank you from all of us. 
Uh, and now, as always, we're we're moving forward. So uh, Firefox 18 lands tomorrow, and there's some pretty big stuff. So I just wanted to let everybody know what they can expect. A few things to be looking for on the forums. Um, so Ion Monkey lands tomorrow, and uh, for those of you that don't know, that's our just-in-time compiler for JavaScript. Um, so be on the lookout for JavaScript issues. Uh, we're hoping that this is going to be a huge success. It should make uh, everything much faster. Um, but just in case, keep an eye out. Uh, we're no longer supporting animated personas, so there was a, a, a fix to decrease the impact that personas had on um, performance overall. And part of this fix disabled um, the ability to have animated personas. So this was something that we had kind of uh, weighed the the benefits and the uh, and the the risks, and we decided that we were going to go ahead with this anyway, knowing that it was going to break animated personas. Uh, there is a workaround. It's a um, it's an add-on that that can help you get an animated persona up and running again if you really really want one. Um, so be on the lookout for that. We think impact is going to be pretty minimal. Uh, we did a bunch of memory fixes in 18 for social API. So again, you know, that sh should be all good. Um, everything should be all awesomeness. But just in, just in case, um, anytime we make changes like that, there's always the risk of a regression. So be on the lookout for that. Um, there was a few changes in 18 that seemed to have some conflicts with uh, Moo tools. And so the fallout from that could be some uh, website incompatibility issues. Uh, we did a lot of investigation in Beta and Aurora, and we didn't see anything there that was really substantial. But obviously, we're going to have a much broader audience now in release, so please be on the lookout for that. Uh, and the last thing is we're also supporting uh, retina displays on Mac and 18. So uh, everybody should be very excited about that, and at least anyone lucky enough to have a retina display, which I, I do not. But um, so any, any uh, reports of strangeness with that, please be sure to let us know. Uh, we'll make a post in the forums to give all this information so that uh, we can all be on the same page there. Anybody, any questions on 18? No question, but a reminder to people to please mute when you're not talking. I keep hearing, I think someone is having some sort of corded uh, headset or something like that because it sounds like it's kind of scratching all the time. I don't know if other people hear it, but I'm assuming people do. So if you're not talking, please mute. I hear it now, for, for instance. <laughs> so, whoever <laughs> whoever is using that microphone hasn't muted yet. Who moved? Say it now. Um, okay, any questions for Firefox for desktop? No? If not, we'll move on to Firefox Android. Uh, yes, on behalf of Michelle and I, I'd like to thank everyone as well for all their efforts last year, i.e. 2012. And we're having a release tomorrow, and is it KB article day this week? Or is it support question day this week on Thursday? Oh, yes. Oh. It's a week. Hooray! Is it question or, or article week? I can't, sorry, I missed that. Thursday is articles. Oh, yay. So we still have a few needs changes um, for mobile. Uh, we don't have any major features. We have product announcements where the, we can announce to people but I'm not sure if we we're actually going to use that this release. Uh, we have phishing and malware protection and a whole bunch of other small improvements. But nothing big. That's it. So please come on Thursday and help us. Thank you. I will put a link yes, here. whoever can help on Thursday, please do. It's actually great to do that. It's a lot of fun to write some articles, although it doesn't seem so. One one thing to uh, to note about that some of those things that uh, Roland were was talking about is that um, it, which I'll say more about the knowledge base section. But those are some of those things will be linked to other blog posts, Twitter posts, Facebook posts. So um, they'll potentially get help lots of people, get lots of views. Um, so it's a good good important updates to make. All right, and Tyler points out that we have awesome reviews in the Google Play Store. So thank you to all, everyone for working and making those reviews great. Four oh, stars. wow, that's excellent news. Yeah. Very happy to hear that. Sweet. OK. Um, I think, Roland, you stay on the line because it's Thunderbird next. Oh, I can do Thunderbird. Yes, we're releasing Thunderbird 18. Uh, to, oh, sorry. Not Thunderbird 18. Thunderbird 1702 security and minor bug fix release. Um, that will be released tomorrow. And also, we are still working on the migration of 
the Sumo KB forum. Um, and we're blocked on, I believe, show, show for bug fix. So hopefully we can get that done this month. Great. And okay, I have, any... oh, Sorry, sorry. <laughs> no, I, I don't want to cut you off. I just wanted to say if there are any questions related to Android or Thunderbird, please speak now. Okay. Right, moving uh, forward to metrics, any updates on metrics? Sorry, I had to unmute. Um, yeah, so actually, uh, just two things I wanted to mention. One thing, uh, as I mentioned earlier, this TTR is uh, not correct, so please don't rely on it for now. The other thing is, is since we are moving to web trends, uh, from uh, sorry, from web trends to Google Analytics, and a number of our um, uh, of these metrics actually rely on on data that we get from web trends, uh, there might be uh, differences. So we might need to, or we will probably have to uh, say that um, there there will be a cutoff day, and then you won't be necessarily able to compare the data before and after in absolute terms. Um, so that means that uh, we count, for example, unique visitors, and there might be a difference in how Web Trends counts unique visitors and how uh, Google Analytics counts unique visitors. So after the uh, switch, you can't compare those numbers directly. Uh, you will be able to compare ratios, but not necessarily uh, absolute numbers. Uh, I'll make sure that um, everyone knows about this beforehand. Uh, we will also collect data. Uh, uh, we will we will collect data over over a certain um, time frame from both sources so that we know exactly what's happening, um, how they are different, and, and how they will affect our numbers. Uh, but that's just a heads up. So there will be a cutoff date sometime soon, and um, we need to be prepared for, prepared for that. And we're working on it. Excellent. Um, any questions on metrics? <coughs> Oh, okay. Um, moving on to community updates, I think we covered this because we already talked about the body program. Um, I don't think there is anything else. So we could just move on to Elton and directly. Okay, well, let me take that on. Um, I wanted to say that I'm happy to announce that the Spanish locale has a new locale leader. Um, Angela is going to take over. Uh, her uh, uh, Sumo username is Adelper, or Abelper, or however you want to pronounce it. Um, I'm very happy to announce this because um, it, it shows that uh, it is possible to make a transition leadership within Sumo. Um, so she stepped in, uh, she went through, um, you know, she uh, edited many articles, she learned all the rules. And now Inma, who has been, you know, she's um, she's not only, you know, one of the most active translators for Sumo, uh, but in general for the whole uh, Mozilla Hispanic organization. And so she actually said, like, we I would like to to have Angela stepping in, and I think this is this is great. Uh, we will try to document the process and to get all the learnings, um, because we think it's important to show that you know you can you can move in Sumo, and it's great to be able to pass on leadership, um, and so that you know everyone can be you know can take on that role uh, for a while. So I just wanted to congratulate uh, Angela, uh, who has done an excellent job, and will from now on take on the role of the Spanish uh, locale leader. So that's uh, my first thing. Um, I also yay. saw that Vito. Yeah, yay, yay, for, very cool. Um, I you also have to spell that... the name, because I don't want to make any more pronunciation mistakes today. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I wrote her, her, her username on the that's how you will find her on, on Sumo. It's simple. Yeah. Just read every letter. <laughs> yeah. It's just we have the. Yeah. There is no the tricks. Avelper. Avelper. Yeah. She has. She has. I mean, you can see on her profile, she has worked on over, you know, on, on 120 documents. So wow. I think that's a pretty good track record. That's amazing. Um, yeah. Yeah. It's really cool. Um, so yeah, that, definitely that's cool. Um, so that's the, the one side. Um, I saw, I'm, I'm working with uh, Vito. Vito, uh, I, I saw you before. Are you on the call? Maybe you want to step in and talk about our work on Elton Metrics? Uh, I'm here in the background. Okay. Hi girls, hi boys. 
Hello. Happy New Year and uh, New Year. awesome Hello. future, everybody. Go ahead, Susan. Uh, I'll take it. So uh, Vito and I um, and Madalena, uh, we are working on getting some more community metrics. Uh, we would like to be able to know better, you know, who has been done what, because, uh, you know, sometimes we're not as fast as we should be. Uh, or to say thank you, you know, this is a wonderful job. Um, so this is actually stepping in and helping us there. Um, so we want to take a look at, you know, our top contributors. And I think that, you know, when we have those metrics in place, we will be announcing here in the in the meeting, you know, who has done uh, an, an awesome job. Um, every we're gonna look with the right if we're gonna do it quarterly or every month, and you know, we can we can shift things around. Um, but what? that's basically the idea. Hello. <laughs> Uh, right. A short word, maybe. I, I need a lot of help, and uh, I'm getting it so far. And uh, um, keep on pushing, okay? And uh, maybe we meet uh, later on, or soon, and uh, Matt or whoever would be involved, so that I get some guiding lights uh, set up on my ship, okay? Great. Nice talking to you and listening to you, Gerson. Thank, thanks, 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 Peter. For coming in and for helping us. Yeah, thanks. That's absolutely great. Um, one, one little things. thing, maybe. Uh, here, uh, uh, I have to get connection back to the rest of the Slovenian community one day or later, you know, uh, because uh, there's been calls coming on in the locale on the support, and it just doesn't make sense to have it separate, you know. Whatever happens uh, happened last year, you know. Uh, we should get over with and uh, pull together, but that's up to me. And maybe you give me a hint what to do so that uh, bygones are bygones. Okay, thank you. In ahead of time, okay. Sure. Okay, great stuff. Um, let's move on to knowledge base, Michael. Michael, who's blurry? Am I? Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. Um, oh, so I, Rosanna was just telling me this morning the we can, we so we have this technical writing program. We actually so we have a little sumo page about it, which we should probably needs already to be updated to kind of reflect a more realistic or how we've been doing it lately. But we're getting lots of inquiries, um, uh, more just random inquiries and it turns out if you search for technical writing program we're like second in the google search results or something so awesome seo yay seo <laughs> yeah totally um people found that and yeah <laughs> google so so maybe we will get some more people there uh, and we will need some support michael right because yep. um, you know at one point that could be a lot for you and um, so it will be. This is one of the things like the buddy program uh, could eventually help with too. Yeah. Yeah, and there's a, a group if you if you're looking for it. If you if, you, if, if uh, say Michelle or Ro that want to write articles, um, I set up a technical writing group so you can find them there and you know or anyone else who's interested into talking to them. There's a technical writing program group and then you can find them. Uh, and Katsuni. Yes, a group, okay, right? Okay, Zuni group? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. That's great. Um, oh, the other thing, just as, I guess, more of a, a heads up or just FYI thing. So um, we've done this in the past, um, but one of the things that we're trying to do more of this year is is develop a process to work more closely with engagement. So. Um, so the engagement team has a blog that they write about, you know, cool Firefox stuff, tips and tricks and all that kind of stuff. And they post stuff on Facebook and, and Twitter and stuff. Um, and they often link to support, you know, articles. Um, I made a blog post uh, last month about some of the times, like, you know, when they do, we'll get sometimes, you know, tens of thousands of views to articles um, uh, and they get highly rated and all that. So. We're trying to make that more 
uh, planned, you know. Uh, so um, this came up over the last uh, week or two just in, in um, like requests. Hey, do we have an article about this? Oh, we don't really. Maybe we should have an article because we can link it from a blog post that's coming up next month. Um, so um, that's one fallout of it. And there may be other things like I, I don't know what. But anyway, this is just a FYI that they'll, I at least have on my to-do list things like start an article about this, start an article about that, because knowing that there'll be some blog posts coming up in a month or two that we might um, link from that. So that'll be helpful because they get like wider exposure. It helps people find out about Sumo in the first place and all that kind of good stuff. Does that all make sense? I'm just rambling now, I think. <laughs> yeah, I was makes really good sense. Um, I mean, we're always looking at, you know, the side of the coin, which is what's going to be a problem for users. But I think engagement's looking at it from the other side, which is what's, what are the features that delight users? How can we help people to discover them? Right. And, you know, that's a big, that's what you're doing with your, you know, your efforts um, around education in so many ways. So I think it's really good to always have our eyes and have them helping us think about that and think about what articles we could have that help people discover features that will not be a problem, you know, that would be <laughs> enjoyable and, um, you know, so I think it's really cool to get a little head start on that. And, um, and it's a great way to, you know, um, use the knowledge base to, um, you know, get more visibility on the knowledge base in Sumo because yeah. they're, I mean, the, the engagement blogs, those things are not so right. They, yeah. they, they get huge, huge traffic. So. Yeah. No, I, I'm also super excited about this. I think this is something that we should have done like long time ago um, because it's I mean it's one of the best way to provide support right be proactive about it and not wait for people to actually have problems but to educate them first um, so it's great I'm super excited about getting this started so I'm all behind you Michael let's do it also, all right uh, if, if I could chime ahead. in just on that real quick um, also another part of it of, of what Michael already mentioned is that once a person uh, uh, reads a blog, and if they click on that link, to, at that time they're really interested in, in that information, and they're more likely to retain that information and, and learn it. So, yeah, it's, it's it's a really good idea. I really like that. Hey, Michael, are you completely frozen for real, or is this just a video? I guess Do other it's... people see him. I can hear I you guys. Can... It's mm, you're not frozen for me. You're not, oh, okay. not frozen. So it's just... It's just you, David. Yeah. yeah, I guess video is presenting different views for each person. That's <laughs> that's uh, amazing. Well, I was going to say, you know, my, this has been one of Michael's vision for a very long time to do these things. So I think it's, it's really, really cool to see this happening now. And, um, you know, being able to work together to, to make this make this really good. It's, th that excites me a lot. And I know that it excites Michael, too. Even though it looks frozen. Uh, <laughs> where I'm sitting. <laughs> You don't look excited, Michael. You're <laughs> yeah, you look completely disengaged. <laughs> yeah. Discouraging. Just change that face already. How do I make it change? Uh, hello, hello. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it changed. It looks changed now. Great. All right. I'm sure I'll look frozen too. Um, if you have, you don't have any more questions related to this, um, I'll move on to the support forum. Um, where I'm happy to announce a great start of the new year, um, where although we had people on holidays and, you know, Christmas and New Year's and all that, um, and we had a very different number of questions from day to day, it was sometimes 50, sometimes 90, sometimes more, sometimes less, we still maintained an average of 98% of the questions answered in the first week, which is absolutely great. Um, so great work, everybody. Um, much appreciated for taking that time to answer questions during holidays. 
Uh, this is absolutely amazing. So thank you very much. And let's keep it up for 2013 and just rock the place and answer all the questions all the time and be absolutely amazing for it. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, okay. Decisions and action items. Do we actually have any decisions or action items? That's part of the tough job of uh, leading a meeting is to write those notes as the meeting progresses. But uh, mm -hmm. I think the maybe the, the most obvious one is that you guys are leading the meeting. That's one of the decisions being made. Yes. So I'll write it down. Moderina and Rosanna, <laughs> so sometimes, Moderina, <laughs> sometimes Rosanna will lead the, this meeting from uh, now on. Sometimes together depends on how our connection works. Um, Kadir is going to come back with the rest of the click-through rate stuff next time? Yep. Right. Well, that's it. So yeah, what else did we forget? I think that's pretty much it. it. We didn't really have decisions or action items. This I would add um, an action just for everyone to keep testing the mobile redesign and um, check about, you know, logging in uh, on your mobile phone, log into Sumo on your mobile, um, you know, look at your profile from your phone, look at articles from your phone, use the navigation and search, and just give it good testing. Like, it's super brand new, and, and um, but it's going to be really important for uh, future products like the uh, Firefox OS. So. That's the action for everyone is uh, to help help continue testing that. Michael? Yeah, where we put, is that still going on the um, mobile redesign Etherpad? Yes. Okay, because I yeah, found one over, the, over the break. I found something. All right, yeah, please put it there. I'm still creating uh, bugs based on that Etherpad. Okay. And I'm striking through the stuff that, we are not, that we've done on that Etherpad so that everyone sees what has already been reported. Um, yeah. Does someone have that handy to put on the... Yes, uh, I'll put it in here. Um, it's... And, um... this, this is on Sumo. Okay. All right, I'll paste it in the document as well. Thank you. And so um, it is for, uh, I mean, a lot of what we're doing is all, we can test everything on Android. So anyone with an Android device um, can certainly test it or any mobile device. Um, but also I skipped my Firefox OS update and there's a link there to uh, the feedback report that went out over the break, thanks to Ralph. Um, and Chang, of course, and Naoki and QA um, put together so you can um, take a look at the post to see sort of, you know, where we are with B to G and um, the bugs that are coming up from the people who are testing. So you can um, do testing in your emulator and or people who have prototype devices and sort of again, get a sense of where we're at there. Okay, excellent. Well, I guess this is it. Any other comments, questions, concerns, discussions, crazy stuff to share? Two things. Cheng, how is Hong Kong? Cheng. I haven't heard Cheng oh. say it worse. I want, I want to know. Oh, no, I was muted. Sorry, I, I was been saying things and I didn't realize I've just been kind of being side comments and I didn't realize I was muted. Ah, oh well. Uh, no, <laughs> Hong Kong is great. <laughs> um, I mean, I, it was even better though. I went to LA afterwards, and we uh, went to the oh, Rose nice. Bowl, and we won the Rose Bowl. Oh, nice! Which for most people here go. who don't care about sports, it isn't a big deal. But who's, for me, it's a big deal. Who's we? Who's who's the we that won? Uh, Stanford won the Stanford. Rose Bowl. He's always oh, that's we right. Stanford. Yeah, I forgot. We is Stanford Sorry. or the San Francisco Giants. <laughs> so I, I really appreciate Chang's priorities because the Rose Bowl game is much more important than going to Hong Kong to see my family, right? <laughs> exactly, right, right. <laughs> I follow hockey, so I, I agree with Chang. 
So support your team, travel. You have to be there for them. No also, the, the other thing I wanted to say is, uh, Ebay, can you say something so I can see you? Because you're, you're not showing up in my grid right now. Hello. <laughs> there you go. So the elephant in the room. Ebay has a new haircut. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone enjoy. But only only <laughs> half his head got cut. The other, the bottom half right. <laughs> right. stayed the same. Well, that might come I up think, later. I think he just made a transfer of hair from one part to the other. <laughs> upside down. Necessarily. I mean, it was it was everywhere, and now it's just the one. All right. That you look neat, completely... though. Neat. Very neat. Very neat. Very clean. Okay, so any other haircuts we should share? Um, I have a head cold, <laughs> so if I sound funny, <laughs> I didn't um, or if I'm a little slow, it's it's just the decongestant. I know it's, it's just that's why I'm a little quiet. No, I didn't notice that, but I noticed the the sound of the, <laughs> the kind of the sound of the voice. It's, it's like the different. <laughs> but it reminds me of how Evi used to be. <laughs> Across from me, the desk. <laughs> no, but uh, I will. I will like to see this happen tomorrow. That's not funny. No. You, you need to do the Spanish to do accent as well. Let me let me rehearse. Okay, yeah. okay so next. another action item for David Reaper is indicating e buy next week. We're looking forward for that. Um, otherwise, otherwise, I think we're done. So great meeting, everyone. Thank you so much for participating. Uh, have a great, great, and see you soon. Thank you. Bye. Thanks. And thanks, Bye. Madalina, for leading the meeting. Thank you. Yep. See you. Bye. Bye. Have a great, have a great week.